Welcome to 5.1's Math Moment. Today's students um, learned about long division and used what they learned about long division from fourth grade and applied it to fifth grade concepts. Today we started with just one digit divisors. So we're going to only be looking at numbers like six to divide by into three digit and four digit numbers. Um, students were also introduced to some different methods for division. Students do not have to learn or master these methods. These are just different ways for students to look at division and we included them here for you so you could look if your student is doing one of these methods place value sections, rectangle model, expanded notation if they're doing one of those and you're not quite sure of the steps really zero in or pause the video so you can look at those different um, those different methods and kind of maybe how your student is working with those numbers. Um, most fifth grade students at this point are choosing to do traditional long division, which is just digit by digit, which is what I'm going to show you today. So the first example says, Farmer Fred had 1,482 pigs. He needs to separate them into six barns. So the word separate, we're really going to focus in on in just a minute. It says how many pigs will be in each barn. So what we really talk to the students about when we're working with word problems is finding those key words that tell you to make it bigger or to make it smaller. With division, we really focus in on words like separate, split, um, share equally, groups, all right? To think about taking your big um, amount, how much you have, and making it into smaller equal groups. So this definitely is a division problem. And we're going to take 1,482 divided by now, once students have this problem set up in this way, we want to make sure that they take their time to slowly go through each step. Um, they like to sometimes rush through these problems, which cause them to make silly um, math mistakes that they know how to solve. So encourage them to really take their time and go through each number and really think it through. So the first thing I'm going to do is say to myself, how many times can 6 go into the first number, which is 1? Or I could think to myself, six times what gives me one or gets me close? Well, I should see right off the bat that six cannot go into one because it's too big. There's nothing times six that will get me one or close because it is too big. So zero is how many times that it goes in. Zero times six is zero, so I place it underneath the one, and that's when I subtract. So there's really four steps when we're looking at long division. There's D, M, S, B. And students have learned lots of different sayings to remember the order. Does McDonald's serve burgers? Do monsters scare babies? All sorts of different things that they can remember. But all it means is the first thing I do is divide, then I multiply, then I subtract, and the last thing I do is bring down the next number. So I have done my multiplication. And my, and my division and multiplication, and now I need to subtract. 1 minus 0 is 1. My next step is to bring down. Now I go back to the beginning and I do it all again. So I think to myself, 6 goes into 14. How many times without going over? All right, so I can count by 6s, or I could think 6 times what gets me close to 14 without going over. So 6, 12, 18. 18 is too much, so I want to use 6 times 2, which gives me 12. I write it down below, and now I'm down to my subtraction step. 4 minus 2 is 2, 1 minus 1 is 0, and I bring down my 8. Now I start all again. 6, how many times can it go into 28 without going over? 6 times what gets me close to that 28 without going over? So I could count by sixes again. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. Okay, I see that 28 falls right in between 24 and 30. I cannot pick a number that goes uh, is bigger. So I have to pick 24, which is 6 times 1, 2, 3, 4. 6 times 4. Now I'm back to my subtraction step. 8 minus 4 is 4. 2 minus 2 is 0 and I bring down my 2. So now I need to go back again and think, how many times can 6 go into 42? 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42. 
and I see that 42 and 42 match up exactly. So that's going to work. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 6 times 7 gives me 42. And in my class, we always get really excited when we get a number that's exactly what we need because then we know that we have a zero left over and we either get to start fresh if we have another number to bring down or in this case, there's nothing else to bring down, so our problem is complete. The answer on the very top of the division line is called your quotient, which is your answer to a division problem. And in this case, the answer would be 247. If you have any other questions about 5.1, make sure to see your math teacher.